The circulatory system, although responsible for facilitating complex biochemical pathways, possesses a basic design. The heart, as it pumps, generates enough pressure to push blood through an immense web of vessels. When looking inside a major vessel, we can see the circulatory system moves with great purpose. Larger or major vessels feed smaller tributaries, which in turn feeds the smaller capillary vessels. Within the capillary bed, we see the volume reduces to such a degree, red blood cells navigate these vessels in single file. Along the tightly confined capillary system, red blood cells and local tissue participate in gas exchange. Red blood cells deliver oxygen to local tissues, while the tissue releases carbon dioxide. The exchange is critical for proper metabolism as oxygen promotes the pathways to break down macromolecules a process resulting in carbon dioxide production. However, for this exchange to be possible, the red blood cell must endure immense pressure and strain. The ability to endure such an arduous path stems from the red blood cell's elasticity. The red blood cell is squeezed as it navigates the capillary system and frequently collides with the endothelial walls of the vessel. In a healthy state, the red blood cell has the capability to handle the level of deformation required, which allows it to continue to participate in the all-important gas exchange. However, with age or a specific disease, the circulatory system may become impaired. As a result, red blood cells may lose their elasticity, which hampers their deformability. Red blood cells can become more rigid, and the sheer pressure and forces become too great a burden to bear. As a result, the cell can rupture. A healthy circulatory system is understandably vital for overall tissue health, and green light stimulation has been shown in studies to help the circulatory system. Green light irradiation has been shown to improve the elastic properties of red blood cells. In a diseased state or the result of aging, the potential therapeutic ability of green light irradiation may help restore proper red blood cell function. With improved red blood cell function, gas exchange may improve and in turn both cell and tissue function may improve. Light therapy may hold potential therapeutic benefits and exploring these potentials is a priority of UVLRX therapeutics.